Welcome to the LSE Methodology Institute Stata Tutorial Series sponsored by the LSE Annual Fund. In this video we will show how to select cases and sampling. Sometimes we may not want to include all of our cases in our analyses. So in this video we'll have a look at how to select cases based on user-defined criteria. As with the other tutorial videos, we'll be using the file mi underscore stated tutorial dot dta for our data set. Now let's say we're interested in this variable here called petition, in which we ask respondents whether or not they've ever signed a petition. To make a frequency table for this variable, we type tabulate, and then we can click on petition. And we can see that in the whole of the data set, 63 respondents say they've never signed a petition and 133 respondents say they've signed a petition before. But instead of looking at the whole data set, if we're just interested in respondents who are 30 years of age or younger, well, we have this variable here, age, which asks the respondent's age in years. So to do this, to select the younger respondents in our data set, we again type tabulate click on petition and then add if age is less than or equal to 30. So in other words we do tabulate petition to create the same frequency table but only selecting cases if the age of the respondent is less than or equal to 30 years. And we see that we have another frequency table but note that the total is a lot less because all of the respondents who are more than 30 years of age have been excluded. So within this subset we see that of the younger respondents, those who are 30 years of age or younger, 15 have never signed a petition and 20 have signed a petition before. So this just excludes certain cases or sets them aside but Stata also makes it quite easy to drop cases permanently if they don't fit your selection criteria. So to do that, let's first have a look at our whole data matrix. So using the command browse as before, we can see the data matrix and we can see all of our cases, which each are represented by a row. And we can see that in total we have 200 cases in our data set. So let's go back to the command line. If we now wanted to get rid, permanently get rid, of the cases that don't fit our criteria, then we type in drop if age is greater than 30. So in other words, we drop the cases, the respondents, if their age is greater than 30 years. And we can see that SATA tells us that 164 of the observations have been deleted. So if we do a browse again, we can see that the bottom of the data matrix empty, but we can see that there are far fewer cases than before. We now have 36. So there we have it. Uh, we have two options of selecting cases in Stata. One where we've just made an if command to set aside cases, and the other where we use drop, where we drop the cases permanently, delete them permanently. So that's all for this video, so uh, goodbye for now.